Howdy folks, how you going? Rob here, welcome to the channel if you're new, welcome back if you're a regular. If you're a regular and I told you about lamb mince and mashed potatoes, you'd know exactly what I'm talking about. Today we are gonna do, attempt to do, shepherd's pie in the camp oven here today. We've tried it once. If you haven't seen it already, check out the Jimna uh, Peach Trees camping video. It's a bit of a laugh, guys. I totally destroyed this. I've come a little bit more prepared this time. So let's see how we go. So the ingredients, we'll just quickly run through this. We've got some cut up potatoes there. Still skinned. Probably should have uh, peeled them, but anyway. And uh, we got the uh, carrot that's not peeled either, but that's all right. We'll cut that up. That'll all go in there. We've got a, one whole onion that I've chopped up a little bit already. We'll skin that, dice it up, throw it in there and uh, get that sort of seasoning and cooking. And then obviously when we get to the mashed potato, we've got some butter. This is where it went horribly wrong in the gym, the clip folks. So uh, check that out if you want a good laugh. Uh, we've got some butter. I'll get the milk out of the fridge when we need to. And let's keep an eye on how much milk I keep in this thing this time. We've got the fire going. Uh, Rob's behind the camera there. He's about to go get us some more firewood so we can uh, heat the camp oven up, start cooking the uh, onions and the carrots, start seasoning them. And then hopefully this thing turns out all right. Alrighty, let's see how we go. We have the onions and the carrots in the camp oven, just above the camp oven uh, campfire, looking very, very nice. Let's have a bit of a check-in on them. Take the lid off here. Oh yeah, starting to get a little bit of color in that, very nice. Not much heat in the fire at the moment, but that's all right. You don't want to overdo it, I learned that last time. And we've also got the potatoes now boiling up because while all this is happening, and then when you put your meat in to the camp oven to cook up, that's when you want to be mashing your potatoes, guys, and getting all that ready. And uh, hopefully it all comes together at the same time. All right, let's have a quick look at the potatoes. Okay, Dake, so we're back up here at Rob's Tanamai 13. Have a go at this camper, by the way. Uh, check out Rob's channel, Australian Camping and Four Wheel Drives. This thing's a beauty, and I tell you, when I get out of the swag, I'll be going to one of these. Anyway, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about shepherd's pie. Now, the potatoes, like I said, all diced up. And I've left them peeled just for something different. So we'll see how this goes in the mashing process. A couple of cups of water in there, a little bit of salt as well. And uh, we'll get them on the boil while everything else happens down there at the campfire. Alrighty folks, we're back here at the potatoes. They've been uh, boiling now for about 15, 20 minutes, something like that. A little bit of salt in there has uh, really got them nice and seasoned well. So we're gonna take the lid off. Try not to burn yourself folks. Are you doing this at home or at camp? What we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up the, the lid here. This is the new Drifter Stockton uh, cook set. Make sure you check them out online, they're absolutely fantastic. We're just gonna tip it up, and that's really hot. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of a cloth. We're gonna try and do this. Oh, yep, that just burnt me. Anyway, we'll carry on. Yep, no, nah, this isn't really working the way I wanted it to, but that's all right. That's how we work here at the Wanderer. <laughs> so stand by, hang on. So what we're gonna do, so we're going to lift this up. This is how not to do it, folks. <laughs> so we're just going to do this, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to do something like, use your fork to get over there, and then you just, <laughs> just turn it upside down, guys. That's all you need. Just turn it upside down. It should be right. Uh, how am I going to get this out? Okay, right. Uh, there we go. That's the pot now turned over. Oh, look at that. See, I've got them all out first go. How good's that? Now we get our potatoes. And they're all nice and strained. How good do they look? Hey, you want one? Oh, that's hot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now we're going to tip these in here. Give that a go. And here we go. So this is the bit, those of you who have seen the gym, the clip, this is a bit where it went horribly, horribly wrong because of this guy. Norco, I love you. It's the best milk around, but this is what ruined it. Okay, so what we want to start to do is just to give it a gentle mash straight up. So, we haven't got too many potatoes in here, so that's all right. Let's give it a gentle mash, a little bit of a mush. Something like that. Now, this is where ratios come into it, I've learnt. Now, the problem is, I don't know the ratio. So, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to get a bit of uh, bit of butter. And then uh, I'm just going to put like a one of them, maybe two. Let's do two of these. Oh, how do you get that off? Oh, there we go. Sweet. I'm just going to move these around a little bit. Get our masher again. And then we're going to give it a bit of a mash. Check that out, folks. I'm feeling a lot more confident about this one, guys. Also, what we've done with the camp oven is we've actually lifted it up a little bit higher off the campfire because I don't want to burn the onions and the carrots. Look at that. I think that's... I may have gone overboard with the butter, but that's all right. That's okay. Now, I'm not going to add 
any uh, cracked pepper or anything like that into this one. We're just giving it very simple here, folks. Basics first, let's get them right. And I think that's actually looking pretty good. There we go. So what we're gonna do now, look at that. I'd almost eat that. We might grab the milk. Thank you, milk holder, appreciate that. Now this is where it went horribly wrong. So I'm gonna get a little bit at a time. So just a little, oh my God. <laughs> Now, if you watch the gym, the clip, a lot more went in the first time. So, it's only, I think it's only three or four potatoes here. Something like that. And they weren't overly huge. But this is actually looking... Pretty good. This is actually, yeah, this is actually looking pretty good. I'm going to I'm gonna do it. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to put a tiny bit more milk in. I don't think it really needs it. But it wouldn't be fun if we didn't. <laughs> so, just the tiniest bit more. Look how fluffy that looks. That looks absolutely... That actually looks pretty good. I'm actually quite impressed. Right, that's going to do me. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave this here for a little bit, cover it up so no flies and bugs get in. We'll take it down to the campfire, just get it ready. But we're going to move on to the uh, to the uh, mints, the uh, lamb mints. So I'm just going to cover that up, keep a little bit of heat in there. And uh, like, again, guys, these Drifter Stockton medium cook sets, there's a whole bunch of uh, different sizes you get in these. They're absolutely fantastic. And... This is my actual first time using them and I'm loving it. Anyway, we'll get back down to the fire and uh, get ready for the bids. I think that worked pretty well. Okay, okay folks, so we've got the uh, mashed potato ready to go and what we need to do now is we actually need to cook up the mince. Now I'm cooking it raw. A lot of people will cook this at home before they go camping. So this is the challenge, right? So we don't want it too hot, the fire, because we don't want to burn the crap out of the meat. So we're going to lift off the lid, check in on our onions and potato and carrots, sorry. They look absolutely divine, by the way, I've got to say. So what we're going to do now, is uh, add our mince. We're just gonna literally add it in. Break it up as we drop it in. Now I have 500 grams of mince here. Whoop, we just lost some into the fire. 480. 480. Um, it's only for two people. And I don't know if I've got too much or not enough. So we'll soon see. I think it might be just right because obviously the mince will shrink and uh, then the mashed potato will go on top of this. When the meat is starting to cook so pop that down and uh, what I'm going to do is I've actually picked up some Campbell's uh, real stock vegetable steer away from the beef because it'll clash with the lamb so if you've got beef in here obviously do beef but uh, I've got lamb the traditional way just going to put a little bit in there and uh, I'm just going to move this all around so we might add one more log to the fire just to give it a little bit more heat but um, again it is raw so you don't want to go too hot too quick and what we're going to do grab this guy and uh, pop him back on. And we'll come back shortly and see how we go. This shovel is way too big for this campfire. But anyway, folks, what you want to do, get some coals out. And just gently make sure your lid's fully closed. Pop it on top. That way we're going to cook from the top and the bottom at the same time. Hey, guys. So... Uh... Rob's um, over here, he's been cooking away, and uh, I think uh, I think he needs to have a break, hey? You never have a break, mate? I could do with a break. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, have a Kit Kat. I'll have a Kit Kat, you <laughs> little beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, time to check the, uh, the shepherd's pie, see how it's going, the mince in here at the moment. It's been about 35 minutes, as you can see by the fire. It's not an overly intense heat. I didn't want to burn the back end out of the, uh, out of the mince, but we'll soon see how it's gone. We'll put some coals at the top. They've started to go cold. So what we'll do is we'll pop that off. And again, try not to get the coals in the food. Oh, I succeeded. Look at that. That is actually, that's come along nicely. A little bit, probably too much stock in there. But that's all right. I think we can live with that. I'll let this uh, simmer a little bit longer. What we can do is we can strain this as well. I just really want to make sure that this uh, mince is cooking. Oh, look at that. That is actually, it's probably not far away, to be honest. I reckon another 10 minutes and I might put the uh, mashed potato on. So you can see the onions and the, uh, the carrots. I'm actually quite excited, guys, if you saw my last effort. And like, again, check out the video, it's in the description. It was pretty bad. This is, uh, <laughs> this is next level compared to that one. So what we're gonna do, give it a bit more of a stir, get it all in there, get the carrots around so no one misses out. And then, uh, in about 10 minutes time, we'll put the mashed potato on top and we'll be good to go. All right, see you in 10. Alrighty folks, you've got a special treat as well. You're not just learning how to do this amazing shepherd's pie. You're also seeing me without my hat on. 
Don't judge the haircut. It's a bit messy. Anyway, what we're going to do here is I've just put a little bit too much stock in and uh, just let it boil itself out here a little bit. So uh, that way it's not as runny and stuff. So we've got it right down. It's been about an hour, I suppose, 40 minutes to an hour. What we're going to do is we're going to take the whole thing off, pop it onto this grill table, drop that down, just move that out of the way. And we've got our mash here, folks. So look at that. She's uh, all ready to go. We cooked that earlier, obviously. And we're just going to layer that on. Now, it doesn't have to be the neatest thing in the world, because it all, all just gets eaten anyway. So, pop that all on. I wasn't sure if I'd have enough, but I think I've got it just right. I think it was four potatoes, guys. Three or four, relatively large potatoes. Pop that on. That's starting to look a bit of all right, isn't it? Basically, what we're going to do here is just basically reheat this. Let it cook a little bit on top of the mince. And... Uh, Gonna be a little bit of a secret ingredient I'm gonna throw on top here. I think that's a pretty good even spread. That'll do. And uh, and uh, let's have a little bit of a taste test. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> and uh, our secret ingredient, folks. We're just gonna throw a little bit of cheese on top. Now, I didn't get shredded cheese or Parmesan cheese or anything fancy. I went and got the Vega Farmer's Tasty, which is bloody good. I, can't, I rate it really highly. We're just gonna pop them on top. A little bit of an extra topping. I made four slices, but three looks like it's going to be enough. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move them across. And I'll put all four in. There we go. That way no one misses out. How good's that? What we're going to do is we're going to grab our little plate. Pop the top back on. Lift him back up. Now we want to cook this from the top a little bit more. So um, I'll pop him back on, hopefully, without it going everywhere. There we go, and then we'll get some coals. You can see this fire is really starting to get to a good, uh, good temperature there with the coals. So I'll grab the shovel and we'll put some coals on top. Look at that. Always be careful, folks. Whoop. Make sure the kids aren't around, all that kind of thing. There we go, pop that on there. And that should hopefully cook it a little bit from the top and nice and quickly. And uh, I don't know. 20 minutes maybe, 15 minutes, we'll check it again and hopefully it's got a nice little crust on top and the cheese is melted. Should be good to go. Alright, see you shortly. Alrighty folks, I think it's time. I think I've got my timings wrong on this one, but I reckon I've got the shepherd's pie just right. I just want to showcase a little uh, item I've got here. This is the King Brown uh, Campfire Oven Lid Lifter. It's probably a bit hard to see. I'll put some photos up um, of it as well. And it's actually a little mechanism in there and you pull it up and it actually pulls your campfire lid up. And uh, you're not having to fight with the standard, uh, the standard uh, prongy doobie wacky, which I can't find. Here it is. With this thing. So you're not trying to lift your camp oven all awkwardly and everything. It's actually got three points of contact on the top of the camp oven. And you can just easily pull up the uh, camp oven lid nice and safely. So anyway, time for the big reveal, folks. Here we go. So it's been about three hours. So it's been way too long. But that's all right. So what you can do is you can spin this around, get everything off there. Righto, so you get the little, the bottom lever there, pop him underneath. Jeez, that fire's hot. And uh, literally, just grab it and pull it up. Up she comes straight away. Oh, have a go at that. Now we are talking. That is one epic shepherd's pie. So you can see the cheese is uh, melted just nicely across the top of the potato. And she is looking good. Can't wait to tuck into this. So what we're going to do, we'll serve him up straight out of here. Oh, nice and crunchy too at the top. And we'll, uh, well, you can see it's sort of all crunchy. You've got to peel it apart because of the cheese. Get some of the meat. Look at the steam coming off that. Straight into the drifter bowl. Get these a drifter. These are fantastic. I cooked it, so I'm going to hog it. Get quite a bit. We'll get some of the meat under here. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Shepherd's pie. That's a hell of a lot better than my effort at Jimna. Make sure you check that one out. That's a good laugh. All right, time to get into it. I'm gonna let it cool down for just a moment, and then we'll do the big taste test. Well, there you go, folks. I think I nailed it second time round. The shepherd's pie in the camp oven, lamb mince, potatoes, all the rest of it, carrots, onions, the whole lot. Uh, probably just missing some peas in that, but that's all right. We'll get that one in next time. Traditional shepherd's pie from raw in the camp oven. Got my timing slightly wrong. Three to three and a half hours is what that took. Um, I'll work on that and get a bit better, but hey, at least this one's edible. Anyway, I think it's time for some seconds, so we'll dish up some of these. Have a go at that. Look at that crunch on the top of that. That looks absolutely phenomenal. 
We've got some carrots in there and obviously the mince. Now remember it's lamb, so this is a traditional shepherd's pie, not beef mince, this is lamb mince. And uh, so it's gonna have a slight different taste to it than what you might expect. But this is a traditional way the drovers used to have it back in the day, the pioneer days. And uh, I'm gonna give it, this second effort, four and three quarter akubras. My Cooper's all packed away, so I can't throw my hat in the air, but uh, I really want to, but you there she goes. And uh, four and three quarter Cooper's, folks. And uh, cameraman, you want another one? Another serve? Can I have some more, Sully, sir? <laughs> Coming right up, mate. There you go, folks, the shepherd's pie. Don't be scared to try things. If I can make it work, you can make it work. Till the next one, folks, enjoy it. Stay safe, be good to each other, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. You. Oh, what's going on here? Just say. Format. Oh, so good. So good.